Here we have the third and fourth gear assembly. This is the same as the first and second gear assembly. Uh, same setup, we're going to prelude the shaft. Like that. That's good. Um, here we got the uh, fourth gear. Again, that, that plate just comes off. There's no orientation. Quick intermission. I just got done telling you that this plate here that sits on the gear has no specific orientation. However, that's not quite true. While it, the rotation of it doesn't matter, you have to make sure it's not upside down. You can see that the full height teeth are towards the gear and the half height side of the teeth are towards the shift collar. That is very important. All the gears, all the forward facing gears work the same way. So you can see that the full height teeth are closest to the gear, full height teeth closest to the gear, and full height teeth are closest to the gear. So very important, as you were. Put him on, the, the plate goes up. You want to check for wear on this surface here. No issues. Just like that. Now we got the synchronizer assembly. Um, these guys are all really oily, which is good. Um, again, we're going to check for wear here. That looks pristine. We're going to check for any um, brass chipped off, any wear. That looks good. Now we've got the wear surface here and these little prongs here, make sure they're not bent up, and the teeth, all of that looks good. So we can assemble this guy as a unit. Again, the notches in this guy fit in the notches there. Or the tabs in this guy fit in the notches there, like so. And we got the synchronizer in there, he'll spin. So now we want to set those six synchronizer tabs, all mesh those with the notches here like so and here we got the fourth gear hub you can see this nice machined flat side and then we've got the machine side with a lip here that lip goes down like so and he sits right on in place there just just about perfect there we go and he's like he should be and now we grab the snap ring. So again, we're just going to use a pliers like here and just try to... Those guys are always, always a pain in the rear. Like so. And again, we're just going to make sure that our snap ring is fully seated because he does spin. Just uh, Yep, you see he spins in there. Like that. And now we're going to do the shift collar. Um, this time, the uh, nice smooth machined surface goes up. The one with the indication goes down. So the indication mark always goes to the rear of the transmission. Again, we're going to, we got the uh, shortened tooth on this guy, right there. And we got the shortened tooth on the synchro hub right there. So we're just going to line them up. Put it on like so, push him all the way down, it's always in gear. Now we're going to grab the shift detents and put him in. Use a screwdriver because that makes life a little easier. Push him in with the screwdriver, push him down, again push him in with the screwdriver. down push him in push him down now for the third gear third and fourth gear assembly or I guess the third gear assembly here same story we got the plate here that meshes on the gear we're gonna actually we're gonna leave him over there this, gear, this lube is extremely sticky. This is the 50 gear, 50 weight synthetic transmission fluid. Um, again, wear on the this guy, chipped or worn brass, teeth, bent notches, worn surface, all the same. We're going to assemble him with the notches in there. Take him, put him down. Again, we got the notches here, go into the notches there. 
Right, that lubrication, lovely stuff. And now we're just going to lubricate them up. Got bearing, put him on. Spin him, he's good. Then the gear. Actually, we can put this guy on first. You want to have it so the teeth are there, holding him in. So that that guy up. Put him in. He meshes good. Now we're just going to check for wear on the end of the gear. I don't know if I've said that on every single one. I have a feeling I messed up, but you want to do that on every gear. Like so. And then he is just like that. Now we're going to just throw a little lube in the bearing there, just because we can. And one thing you want to feel, just with your finger before you even try to uh, put the thrust washer on, is that this surface here is a little bit taller than the gear. That way when you seat that thrust washer, it's seating on the shaft and not the gear. Now we're going to throw this thrust washer on the bearing warmer. Um, what we're going to do though is we're going to make sure that we put it with the right orientation. Typically it doesn't matter that much. Um, you can see that it's got a little bit of wear there, just a little scarring. Um, doesn't really matter, it's it's probably fine, but this since this guy is fully symmetrical and because the scarring here would sit up against the shaft, I've made sure there's nothing that's protruding far uh, beyond the flat surface of the uh, washer here, so I'm going to put him upside down so that this nice new fresh surface can be on 6th gear, which likes to eat the surface. Okie dokie, so the bearing's over there nice and warm, get our glove on. What? Okay, so that side goes down and he just sits on there like so. Now we're just gonna push him down, make sure he's fully seated. He's good right like that. And then we have the snap ring here that goes on top there. Um, this guy appears to be symmetrical both ways, so the, I'm not sure there's any special orientation on him. However, you can tell due to some little indentations on here how it was used last time. So we'll just keep it like that. So he goes like so. And here we have the sixth gear assembly. First of all, the bearing. We already pre-lubed everything. Bearing, on he goes. And we're gonna throw more on there just because we can. Sixth gear. Here we go. Goes fancy doodad towards the top. Like that. And he spins nice. That's smooth. Super nice. Now, um, this is the sixth gear synchronizer plate. The sixth and fifth look similar, but only you can't get them mixed up. Sixth, uh, the fifth gear is bigger, so it doesn't um, slide on. So we're just going to loop these up. Throw a little more lube in that crevice there, because, um, one thing I'm going to mention is, you see these notches here? The oiling notches, they allow oil in. You want to make sure that the notches on fifth, uh, sixth gear here are lined up with those. Now you probably can't see it, but I am indeed, let me, uh, it's actually, let me just take this whole gear off. That way you can see, line up those notches. I mean, if you have them like, Oh, like that? That's bad, because, I mean, you're not going to get anywhere. And no oil, or not a whole lot of oil, will make it into sixth gear, and it'll burn up. Um, so like that. Going back on. There we go. Synchronizer. Here you can see, and this is the whole synchronizer. Um, it's got the copper in the inside. Make sure it's all good. There's no chipping or anything. Same as before. And it sits on top. And then the hub. You got the flat flat side and you've got the, you know, they look very different. That side goes down. Um, oh, and then again, let me show you. The um, synchronizer has those fat doodads there. And that, so that fits in like so. And again, you want to inspect the teeth and all that stuff here. 
It's all the same. Picked anything that could have wear. There we go. And we got the collar here. Um, this guy is different from the others in that it'll go on any which way. I mean, upside down. Anyhow, any, it doesn't, that's not particular. However, there is this identification ring here. Um, it's machined into the, into there. The other two have that facing down or towards the rear of the transmission. So I'm going to keep it the same way. So like that. Okay, now we got the shift detents. Just gonna try to uh, feed them in here. And then we got the fifth gear synchronizer. He's all oiled up and all ready to go. Um, you can see that there's these notches here. They sit in the same notches as the, uh, well here, like that. And then this guy goes on top like so. Then once you got that in, you push down here Lift up like that. Now this guy's in neutral. So we got six gear like so. And then uh, the input shaft sits here, which is fifth gear. And like, there, it goes on like that. Now obviously we still need that bearing in there. So we'll do that next. Um, it's this guy here. And again, that's just you're going to heat that up with the, uh, or not. You heat that up with, <laughs> sometimes it goes on easy, sometimes it doesn't. And this one went on easy, so there you have it. Um, put the snap ring on, which I'm not going to do just yet, because I want to dig into this guy a little further in sixth, just to be able to look at it. But yeah, you just throw the snap ring on, and then you know, input shaft goes on, which is like that. I don't think there's any particular orientation here as far as the input shaft goes. Here we have it. And then it shifts good. You got we're shifted into sixth. Good. Shifted into fifth. Good. And then neutral. The uh, synchronizer's a little jam there. There you go. That happens when it's sitting vertical. Okay, then you got just got this bearing that needs to uh, get heated up and put onto the main shaft. Now this is the wrong one for me. This is a Koyo. I'm gonna replace them all with um, NTN bearings because the uh, bearing race length, you probably can't tell there, but the bearing race length is slightly longer on the NTNs. More surface area is more better. Okay, there we go. We got starting to smoke there. The reason we're doing this is while well, the input shaft's on the... There we go. All right, guys, here we got that bearing again. It went right on, no problem. Um, here's the shaft it, it, this bearing originally came on. That's what we did is the reason we took it all apart and put it back together is to swap out the main shaft. So here's the bearing this guy originally came on. And he just slides right on very little resistance very very easy um, so we're gonna try swapping bearings if you look this guy fits on no problem but he's a tight fit on that guy so um, one of those must have gotten loose or something and wallered the other out but uh, it is supposed to be tight so you're just gonna heat it up on the bearing warmer there and uh, put it on like the all the other bearings um, if yours is loose I would recommend at least trying a different bearing and but if it's still loose because it's the main shaft, consider swapping out the main shaft or um, doing some kind of like a Loctite on the shaft. Just clean it all up and then Loctite it. Try to do that. But one thing, if you're going to Loctite it, make sure it's all the way seated before that stuff dries. Because if it's not, then you, you shoot yourself in the foot. Anywho, uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you got any questions, uh, let me know, comment, whatever. And take care. Um, this machine side goes... The hell, which side does the station machine side go now? Oh yeah, just enjoying myself really good right now. Snap washer. Snap washer on. Put the snap washer back on. Snap washer. Goes on. So, oily.
Um, just push in.